Hello and welcome back to Phil's Drone Zone and I'm Phil. After I uploaded some tutorials for effects in Final Cut Pro, such as the animated map and the 3D video wall effect, and I, if you are a Final Cut Pro user, I've put links to those videos in the description, I was also asked a lot by people if they could be used in iMovie. My answer, sadly, was always no. Now, while iMovie is a very good free editing platform, it is severely limited in terms of titles, transitions, effects, and even color correction. Um, people have told me that they don't upgrade to Final Cut Pro for numerous reasons, and those include cost, and even I've heard that people say it looks too complicated to use. So, whatever the reason, I decided to spend some time, as I remember working in iMovie some time ago, and I remember how limited it is, and I decided to spend some time finding out what I could do to help iMovie users. So this is the first of four videos, I think, and hopefully a lot more in the future. So let's get on. In this first one, I've created eight video interference effects, which I then packaged in a video overlay form. I created these in Motion 5, and you can download this overlay from the link in the description below. So now let's have a look at how you can use this download in iMovie. So once you've downloaded the movie clip into and imported it into um, iMovie, just drag and drop it into the end of your timeline. Now, what I would suggest doing is splitting it into its individual components, and that's very, very simple to do. Each clip is 10 frames long, so just hit the right arrow key 10 times, and then Command B to split and then one, two, three, four, five, and then Command B, delete the unwanted section in the middle. And again, right arrow click 10 times, Command B to split it, four or five right arrow key, split, and then delete the middle section. Okay, and so continue doing that until you've got all eight clips separated um, and you can decide which one then you need to use. The reason why I'm doing this is um, I'm going to copy and paste the, the individual clips rather than have to reload the entire movie and split it up again every time I want to use one. So let's say I want to use that one. I'll just right click and copy and then paste it to Command V next door to where um, the original is and then drag it onto the um, timeline where I want to use it. And that way I get to preserve the original clip and I'm only using copies each time. Okay, in the first example of how to use them, this is a clip from my upcoming movie Ghost, which hopefully will be released shortly. And um, I've used three different um, clips here and which shows you can use them in combination rather than just as individuals and I've reversed, you notice I've reversed the center clip to give it a little uh, different effect. So then I just copied the entire group and pasted them at various locations along the video clip. In the last one you'll see I've included a, an extra clip at the end. I don't know why I did that, I just did that. And then underneath you can see that I've um, put some sound effects. This one's called Record Player Static. I found this in iMovie, but it might be part of my Final Cut Pro collection. So if you don't have these in iMovie, there are plenty you can download from YouTube. And um, I've included a link in the description for some static that you can use in your projects. Okay, in the second one, I've just used this to highlight the beats of a music track. I've got a video of some people dancing and I've marked the audio track where I want the effects to take place. Now let's say I want to place one here. Remember, just don't paste the clip here because what will happen is it will split the clip and we don't want that. So let's undo that. And what we want to do is paste it outside the main um, video clip so we can then drag it to the place where we want to overlay it. So let's pop it there. Now you'll notice that it's a little bit dark and this sometimes happens with some video clips but there's a 
solution to this and what I did was I just highlighted the clip and went to color correction and up the brightness as much as I could. You can adjust this to um, however uh, much you want, however bright you want it to be. Um, having done that, the next thing I did was uh, to blade the video clip at the start and also at the end of the um, little interference glitch. So um, now what I can do is go to my effects in iMovie and I'm just going to add the x-ray effect to the video clip and then that gives us a really nice little effect. And in the final um, one I'm just going to use it the effect as a simple transition. I've got two uh, clips of people riding a motorbike, it switches from back to front. So I'm just going to paste in my effect in between the two clips and um, that will then create a transition between the two. Um, but I'm just looking at it, it looks a bit dark again to me, so simple to solve. I'll just go to the color correction and I'll up the brightness um, once again and then that will create a nice little transition between the two clips. So three different ways you can use these interference effects, but I'm sure you'll be much more creative with them than I've been today just cobbling um, this project together. Uh, incidentally, as it is um, MP4 format, you should be able to use it in other editing uh, software suites, not just iMovie. Remember though, not to overuse transitions as effects, as overuse can ruin a project and they should only be used where the video or audio needs them. You've just got this um, as and when you need this type of effect. If you use them, please leave the title of the video in which they're used in the comment section as I would love to see how creative you can be with them. And don't forget to like and share this video and click the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you'll be alerted when future iMovie stuff is uploaded. So have fun, create, and all that remains to be said is I'll see you in the next video.